Hello friends, welcome to this lecture. Today we are going to study regarding the demand of water. Uh, when you are designing the water supply scheme, how the water demand is calculated. But before that again, today's contents are intake works for the water treatment plant and second is a calculation of water demand. Now uh, whenever any, if you are designing the any water supply scheme, so there are the intake works are there that you know where from the water in the water source the, where the water is uh, extracted or that point from which the water is lifted that is called as an intake work and uh, that point is selected where the water is available throughout the year and then we will go for the calculation of the water demand. Intake work the basic function of the intake structure is to help in safely withdrawing the water from the source over predetermined pool levels and then to discharge this water into withdrawal conduit normally called intake conduit through which it flows up to water treatment plant. So again these are the various uh, pictures which are showing the how the water is lifted. Okay, this is, uh, this is the area intake well is there in the water and uh, from this uh, intake well uh, the water is lifted. Okay, so everywhere you can observe the the water is uh, present there. This, so the place is found out such that the water is available throughout the year. Factors governing location of intake. As far as possible, the site should be near the treatment plant so that the concept cost of conveying water to the city is less. The intake must be located in the purer zone of source to draw best quality of water from the source, thereby reducing load on the treatment plant. The intake must never be located at the downstream or in the vicinity of the point of disposal of wastewater. So this you can understand. If the waste water is disposed dispose there and on the downstream side if you are uh, establishing an intake, so impure water will be uh, extracted you can say taken to the water treatment plant. Okay, So that never that should not be never done there. The side should be such as to permit greater withdrawal of water if required at a future date. The intake must be located at a place from where it can draw water even during the driest period of the year. The intake side should remain easily accessible during floods and should not get flooded. Uh, moreover, the flood waters should not be concentrated in the vicinity of the intake. Then we will move to the next concept water quantity estimation. The quantity of water required for municipal uses for which the water supply scheme has to be, has to be designed requires following data. Water consumption rate per capita demand in liters per day per head. Population to be served the quantity uh, is equal to per capita demand into population. So that is a, a basic equation. Again we will move to now what is water demand. Average person consumes no more than 5 to lit 8 liter of water per day. However, total water drawn from public water supply is quite high. Now types of demand. First one residential or domestic, second institutional use, third public or civic use, fourth industrial use and fifth one water system losses. So what is included in the domestic use? Water is needed for drinking, cooking, bathing, washing of clothes, washing of utensils, washing of house, flushing of uh, water closets etc. As per IS 
वन वन सेवन टू वन नाइन फाइव सेवन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सेवन वाटर कंजम्पन इज वन थर्टी फाइव लीटर्स पर कैपिटा पर डे ओके वॉटर रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर डोमेस्टिक पर्पोजेस ओके इन दिस कॉलम द डिस्क्रिप्शन इज देयर अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर इन लीटर्स पर कैपिटा पर डे इज गिवन बेदिंग फिफ्टी फाइव लीटर्स वॉशिंग ऑफ क्लोज ट्वेंटी फ्लशिंग ऑफ वाटर क्लोजेट थर्टी वॉशिंग ऑफ हाउस टेन वॉशिंग ऑफ यूटेन्सिल टेन कुकिंग फाइव ड्रिंकिंग फाइव एंड टोटल दैट कम्स टू बी वन थर्टी फाइव एल पी सी डी देन कंजम्पन ऑफ वॉटर फॉर एनिमल एंड लाइव स्टॉक दैट ऑल्सो लेट अंडरस्टैंड कॉवेन बफेलो फोर्टी टू सिक्सटी लीटर्स पर एनिमल पर डे रिमेंबर देन हॉर्स फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी डॉग एट टू ट्वेल्व शिप एंड गोड फाइव टू टेन वॉटर फॉर डोमेस्टिक एंड नॉन डोमेस्टिक नीड्स सो इन दिस फर्स्ट कॉलम डिस्क्रिप्शन इज देयर एंड इन सेकेंड कॉलम इज देयर अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर ओके विच इज एल पी सी डी फॉर कम्युनिटीज विथ पॉपुलेशन अप टू ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड ओके फोर्टी मिनिमम वॉटर सप्लाई थ्रू स्टैन पोस्ट सेवेंटी टू हंड्रेड then water supply through house uh, service connections okay that is also comes to the uh, same level for communities with uh, population and uh, 20000 to 1 lakh that comes to the 100 to 150 then for communities with the population above 1 lakh that comes to 150 to 200 now institutional use okay so in the this column institution is there and in second column the water requirement liter per head per day that comes of hospitals including the laundry number of beds exceeding 100 450 per bed the number of beds not exceeding 100 340 liters per head per day then uh, in hotels it is 180 okay per uh, you can say seat you can say you can say then in hostels it is 135 then uh, nurses home and medical quarters 135 boarding schools and colleges 135 restaurants 70 per seat airports and seaports 70 then junction stations and intermediate station it is 70 terminal stations 45 day schools and colleges 45 offices 45 factories 45 cinema concert halls and theaters 15 then for public and public or civic use road washing 5 liter per capita per day sanitation 3 to 5 lpcd public work it is 2 to 3 lpcd fire fighting calculated by the various formula okay where p is the population in the Thousand Q is the quantity of water in liter per okay, minute. Then uh, uh, F is the number of uh, simultaneous fire streams. You know that depends upon the various authority. Okay, then uh, you can see the first uh, association is there, which is uh, American Insurance uh, Association National Board of Fire Underwriters uh, formula is there. That can be that fire fighting uh, demand can be calculated as. okay which is uh, q okay liter per uh, minute that that is equal to 4637 under root p okay the bracket 1 minus 0.01 under root p okay bracket complete yeah then kashling's formula where uh, you can find out q as 3182 under root p freeman's formula you can find out q there as a 1136 In bracket p divided by five plus ten, and where f is f is equal to two point eight uh, under root p. So we'll work out this. Then Ministry of Urban Development Manual formula M A U D. Okay, where q can q is in the kilo liters per day, hundred into root p. Uh, for p is greater than fifty thousand. Western's formula. Five six six three into root p. So these are the various uh, formulae given by the various authorities, and uh, 
uh, we can find out this demand by using this respective formula okay which is a uh, more convenient then industrial use you can see in the first column the industry is there in the second column unit of production right okay and then in the third column water requirement is the kiloliters per unit automobile vehicle 40 kiloliters per unit distillery kiloliter 120 to 170 fertilizer in turn 80 to 200 leather 100 kg or ton you can say 4 paper 10 200 to 400 special quality of water run in turn 400 to 1000 straw board the 7 to 200 ton petroleum uh, refinery ton crude you can say 1.5 to 2 kiloliters per uh, unit steel in turn 200 to 250 kiloliters per unit sugar okay cane crushed here in turns at 1 to 2 kiloliters per unit and uh, Next, last one is the textiles, which is 100 kg goods, you can say, with cloths, uh, 8 to 14 kiloliters per unit. So this is a uh, water requirement for the industrial use. Then, uh, next one is a major problem, which is water system losses, in which uh, various uh, aspects are there. First one is leakages and overflows from the reservoirs, leakages from the main and service pipe connections leakages and uh, losses on consumers premises leakages and losses from public taps under registration of water meters uh, you can say water thefts the water is uh, stolen factors affecting the rate of demand size of the city per capita demand for big cities is generally large as compared to that for smaller towns as big cities have severed houses Presence of industries, more the industries, more will be the water required. Climatic conditions, in winter seasons, lesser water demand and in summer season, water demand is more. Habits of people and their economic status, that is standard of living. Lawn sprinkling, age of, com uh, age of community, new community, more water and vice versa. Quality of water, if water is aesthetically and medically safe, the consumption will increase as people will not resort to the private wells, etc. Uh, pressure uh, in the distribution system, more pressure, more will be demand and vice versa. Efficiency of water works administration, leaks in the water mains and services and unauthorized use of water can be kept to a minimum by service. Cost of water, more cost, uh, less use and vice versa. Policy of metering and charging method. Water tax is charged into two different ways on the basis of meter reading and on the basis of certain fixed monthly rate. System of supply. Continuous system increases water use whereas intermittent system okay, that is reduces. A variation in water demand okay on the x-axis you can see hourly consumption is there hour of the day right from the okay, 0 to 24 it is mentioned okay and uh, consumption million liter per day you can see it is given right so this is the average of this okay and uh, you can understand okay how the water is variation right so as we are earlier also discussed in the morning it is uh, more it is that go on decreasing as the this hours are there hours of the day right now again there is a um, seasonal variation is there the demand peaks during summer fire breaks out generally more in summer increasing demand so there is a seasonal variation Daily variation depends upon the activity. People draw the more water on Sundays and festival festival days, thus increasing demand on these days. Hourly variation are important as they have a wide range. During active household working hours, that is from six to ten in the morning, 
and uh, 4 to 8 in the evening the bulk of daily requirement is taken during other hours requirement is negligible moreover if the fire breaks out the huge quantity of water is required to be supplied during short duration necessitating the need uh, for a maximum rate of hourly supply so uh, these are the various uh, uh, demands you can see again uh, not only that uh, we have to we cannot limit ourselves only the forecasting of, of this uh, water demand so also we have to see uh, how a population can be also work out so in the coming lectures we are going to see that so today is uh, sufficient thank you very much for joining